Hello, friends. Welcome back to Mule's Academy. Now, till now, uh, what we have done, we have written a proper specification, which we have synced with the design center. We have published it to the exchange. Let's quickly cross check that. So, if you look at my design center, our specification for our bank API is ready. In exchange, you can see that the global asset and our uh, banking <coughs> API specification is available here. Okay. And this we have published it from our uh, uh, exchange. So if you go here and if we say, if you pass some dummy value here, send, you'll be able to see that a uh, proper output here. Okay. Now, next API lifecycle phase we are trying to, uh, you know, uh, uh, show as part of this session is implement this API. Okay. So let's start implementing this API. So there are two options available here. So either we can directly go here to so this option, we can say implement an API or control shift P and you can say mule soft. Okay, colon. We'll get option called uh, import, import an API. Okay, that is uh, option we have, import asset from exchange. So we'll go ahead with this option called uh, implement an API. Okay, so we'll go ahead and use this option, implement an API. So again, our extension, right? Platform extension, uh, any point code builder platform extension wants to log into our any point platform, yes. It will do a handshake between our code builder and our any point platform. Close this, let's come back here. We'll use the implementation and uh, location will uh, take the default one. Okay. And we search for our API. So our API name we have given as, uh, you know, just a search for this. You'll find our API, add asset and say create project. Okay. So one, uh, you know, this, um, you know, in the back end, it will scaffold our uh, our uh, uh, RAML and will create a project, and we'll see how it renders. That's a complete new look and feel. That's what we are going to see now. It's scaffolding our project. It will create a default flows for us, and we know that how many flows will be created for us. So two, definitely two will be two. Uh, minimum two flows will be there, main flow and uh, console flow. Plus, the other flows will be created based on how many methods you have in your uh, RAML. So if you remember in our, uh, if you remember, let me go back and uh, go to our uh, uh, exchange. We have two resources, accounts, and customer under these two resources, we have two methods. That means these four flows will be created plus main and console flow. Let's have a look at it. Okay. So now you can see that we'll get two UIs. One will be showing our, uh, our uh, uh, config file, which is XML. And we'll say that Hey, show me my uh, flow UI also. It will render in this screen. You can see that it's rendering here. Okay. Now, at a time, you can see one flow. Okay. So you can see you can, there's a main flow. It will, it will highlight the whatever component you are selecting here. So parallel, you can see that you can see the router. I'm selecting router and uh, you can drag and drop by mouse. So this is the main flow. It will take you to that code, which is very helpful. Okay. Parallel, we can see that the uh, render component as well as his code over here. And this is the uh, feature coming from visual studio code. Okay. Now we are not going to make any change here. I'll show you, this is the main flow. If you want to see more flows, you can see that 
we have main flow we have console flow we have get accounts we have get customers we have post accounts we have post customers quickly if you look at the the console this is the console flow so that means four methods plus two main and console uh, all together we are getting six flows okay now let's go and see the get accounts so if you see here get accounts uh, we have hard coded uh, response right now and as part of implementation this hard coded response will get replaced by actual uh, target response okay so we'll be connecting to uh, database in actual scenario right now i'm not going to connect to database but i'll keep as it is this one and i'll start running this project okay so we have option to debug and run and debug so we'll go ahead and we'll say run and debug so let's go ahead and let's go to the main and we'll say debug okay so you'll be able to see call stack here you'll be able to see breakpoints okay see here it's let's wait for the deployment we'll get a url it will be a little different we'll we'll note down that url basically that url will be this one only so let's copy and try to build that url let's me go here and load my notepad okay so this will be url so we need to add proxy then our port number or api will be running on 8081 and then if you are creating project from a raml it will automatically adds api in your path and then our resource which is uh, accounts and if you remember we have added query parameter called account type okay and the possible account type values are saving okay and then we have headers called client underscore id and client underscore secret okay so we'll add these values but i one by one i'll show you how it looks okay so let's go back to our yeah so see our applications deployed open in browser let's let's look at this it will throw error to say that no listener so let's copy this url okay so one by one we'll go to our uh, our uh, uh, postman paste it okay so right now we need to add so we'll go one by one okay so we need to add api then accounts okay and let's trigger it okay so we are getting error okay so let's fix this error first so we need to add a cookie here so how to get that cookie okay so i'll just go ahead and i'll uh, go to headers i'll just copy this pattern control c so that will be your header cookie and from where to get this value okay so first i'll do i'll copy this control a control c i'll paste it here control v and we can get these values by let's go here and close this for now or just uh, open our our code builder in developer mode okay so application go to cookies here okay and select these values so copy this value control c go back here and I'll replace this value okay put a semicolon over there and then second value which is proxy control c come back here and replace this value control v then copy this control c come back to our postman and paste that value over here control v okay now try to see oh sorry at the wrong place we have given right it should be in header part this mistake we do generally so it should be cookie okay so keep this you are adding in the uh, 
not in param we are adding in the header section okay now bad request why bad request because let's look at the um error so let me close this now you can see that it's coming bad request because it's expecting those required parameters now okay so let's go ahead and add one by one so first one is in header section we have client underscore id okay we are passing right now a random value because we have not uh, applied any policy so far. So these values will be just a uh, random values, but we need to pass. Okay. One more thing. Still, um, because now we have query parameter called account type. Okay. And the possible values are this. Okay, if you pass it now, yeah, you can see that proper. So if I change this, if I make it small, right? Just wanted to give a demo that it will pick the values from the, uh, you know, the predefined list. Okay. So if you give this proper value, you'll be able to see the proper output. So now you can see that what we have done. Let me recap. So we have kind of implemented the API from our specification. Yeah, I have not added the actual business logic for our get accounts, okay? Because uh, in actual uh, uh, implementation, we'll be connecting to the target system to get the accounts details. But right now for simplicity, um, you know, we have, uh, let me show you, we have, uh, kept as it is, whatever is coming from our RAML. Okay, so this is a mock data, which we are using as it is. But in real scenario, the structure will be same. Instead of two records, we'll be getting based on the, the you know, the records available in the target system. But the content wise, the structure wise, it will be same. Okay, so uh, if you, uh, you know, uh, from this session, uh, what I can uh, uh, say, that we have implemented the API uh, by using RAML and we have debug it and we have seen the proper output uh, in our post. Okay. In the next session, what we'll do, we'll deploy this code to Cloud Hub. We'll apply the policy, client ID enforcement policy, and we'll test it again. Till that point, thank you. Thank you for watching and bye-bye. Uh,